I have to talk really quickly and hopefully Google, my Google device does not censor me because I've noticed with this particular phone, when I start speaking on valid points, then all of a sudden my audio gets really quiet and silence on the good points. So I'm going to try to say this before Google tries to silence me because I see what's going on here. Um, I want to say that, you know, the conversations surrounding Kanye West have been interesting and how they've been playing out has been interesting. And I don't know if people realize this or not, but it seems as though the industry is actually proving a lot of the points that he made very true. Now, again, I don't agree with everything that Kanye has said. I don't believe in the manner in which he has said these things, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend like there have not been other artists, black artists who have said the same things that Kanye has said. I'm also not going to sit here and pretend that Buck Dance and Charlemagne the God, for example, did not say exactly the same things that Kanye has said. My huge issue right now is the fact that they are going after Kyrie Irving for stating his opinions about the heritage of Black people, and they are vilifying him. And somebody recently did a blog in which they highlighted what anti-Semitic is. And really, you can't say anything against Jewish people. And it's like, okay, that's fine. Anti-Blackness should have the same offense as anti-Semitism, in my opinion. And I think that it's anti-Black for the industry to continue to promote ideas about Black people, our image and our narrative. And then when you have somebody like Kanye West, who is exposing these reoccurring things that the industry is doing to keep Black people in a marginalized way of thinking, you know, I don't think that we should just sit there and just shut somebody down. And I'll be honest with you, I don't, I think that Black America would be more prone to cancel Adidas than they would Kanye West. And that's just the truth about it. And they use all kinds of Black people to turn the Black community against other Black people like Kanye. So, they got Charlemagne the God and the Breakfast Club right now. And what they're doing is they're setting up the narrative for Kanye being so crazy that he may be suicidal. And we got to stop letting the industry set up our brothers like that. Uh, Kanye West has been very consistent in the things that he has said. I don't think the man is crazy. I think they're leveraging mental health as they do for everybody. When somebody dies or when somebody I'm sorry, when somebody says something off key through all your mental health, it's like, well, how do you know that, that that's coming from a place of mental illness? How do you know that that's not coming from a face of experience? And this person actually feels like this. And that's my whole issue. If, if Kanye was inconsistent, that would be one thing. But he has been consistently saying the same things over and over again. So I conclude that this is how this brother feels. And then they got people trying to pr create these narratives to set up Kanye for possibly being found suicidal. We need to watch stuff like this. We need to watch how they coming after our black brothers, especially Kyrie Irving, going after him for just saying what he thinks about the black lineage beyond Africa. See, these people want to control the black narrative. They want to control the black image. And I think that it's important for black people to come together and make sure that we are controlling the way that our people are projected at all time. The entertainment industry has a set narrative of how they want to project black people. And we need to stand up against that. They have a set way in which they want black people thinking about ourselves and our history. We need to stand up to that. I think it's very anti-black for anybody to be going after Kyrie Irving. It's anti-black for anybody to be going after people like Nick Cannon for them expressing their beliefs about their heritage and their lineage. I think that if anything, the mainstream industry has proven who's running things, who's running things, and the hypocrisy of these people who are running things. And my, my, I'm going to conclude like this. 
I don't want any other group fixing their lips to talk about black people from the black image if you're not willing to have that come back on you.